Hey y'all, welcome back to another recipe for today's video. I am here to show you guys how to make a banana bread. This one is a winner, okay? You guys asked for it, so I'm here to show you guys how it's done. This one is delicious. This banana bread is packed with banana flavors. It's just so good, okay? You're going to love this recipe. Stay tuned. Without further ado, let's make this banana bread. Before I begin, I am going to start by buttering up my bacon dish. And if you hear anything, it's pouring right now. So don't mind the noise in the background. So I am going to add some butter on this bacon dish right here. Then I'll add some flour. That way my banana bread doesn't stick, okay? It's not gonna stick on the bacon dish. This is what it looks like. We're gonna set it aside and move on. I am using three ripe banana you can use overripe banana didn't have any so i'm using the regular banana ripe banana <laughs> so now once you have all your banana in a bowl what you're going to do is take a fork and mash it down like you're making a baby baby food okay just mash it down with a fork Once you have your banana nice and mashed down, just set it aside. Now, in a bowl, I'll be adding about eight tablespoons of unsalted butter. Make sure the butter is room temperature, nice and soft. And I'll be adding two eggs in there as well. And just, you know, take your hand mixer and mix it together. You can also do it by hand, but I just wanted to cut some time. That's why I use a hand mixer. You can feel free to use just your hand if you don't have a hand mixer that's fine okay once you're done mixing that up for about two minutes and then we're going to add our mashed banana in there just like this next I'll be adding some buttermilk in there as well and basically adding all the wet ingredients I'll be adding some pure vanilla extract as well as some almond extract I just love combining those together it just tastes just tastes amazing okay give that a try once you're done just give it a mix don't over mix it because you already mix your egg you don't want to you know the air from the egg that's what's gonna make your banana bread fluffy yeah don't over mix it now I am adding some dark brown sugar with uh, white sugar just add that in there and give it another mix like I said do not over mix it as you guys can see I'm giving a a stirring like a folding type of stirring okay once i am done i am going to add my dry ingredients in here i have all-purpose flour i'm adding some salt next i'll be adding some cinnamon with bacon powder as well as some um baking soda <laughs> just mix that together and then we're going to pour it to our wet ingredients just add it gradually and keep folding it like i said do not stir it just keep folding it and yes i'm talking loud because it's raining in the background like i said so we're just gonna we're just going to keep folding it keep folding it do not stir it otherwise you're just gonna let the air from the egg that's what's gonna make your banana bread fluffy and nice and delicious oh my goodness it's pouring oh florida um i'm adding some some nuts walnuts in there because it's banana bread but personally i do not like nuts no 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 i don't but i'm just gonna add that in there just for the sake of this banana bread recipe and then i'll be pouring it to my bacon dish and we're going to bake this guys on 325 for 50 minutes or to an hour okay 50 to 60 minutes we're going to cook it or bake it on 325 degrees give it a tap 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 to you know remove the air and basically this is what it looks like as you guys can see and yes it's nice and cooked this is how you check if it's cooked through with a little 
obscure or whatever but basically this is what it looks like it's nice and golden brown and of course I have to cut it for you guys there you go And yes, Florida's bipolar. It was just sunny. Now it's raining. Mm, okay. Now this is my banana bread, as you guys can see. Oh my goodness. It is nice and moist. And yes, it's a little dense. This is the perfect banana bread recipe. And trust me, if you follow this recipe, you will make the perfect banana bread every single time. Give it a try. This is it. Hope you like it. Do not forget to give the video a thumbs up for me. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.